Awards fire have been challenged to continue enforcing good governance and live up to the international reporting standards if Kenyan companies are to claim their place on the global stage. This year's theme was promoting financial reporting excellence in uncertain global economy. The event, which is in its 90th edition, saw various companies featured. This year's the total entities, uh, entities of both public and private entities who participated in the Fire Award conference and ceremony was 345. The number constitutes 289 entities from public sector and 56 from the private sector. Some of the areas that were evaluated in this year's award include governance, environmental and sustainability reporting. Standards, uh, the IPA standards is one of them. Um, I think the issues around governance, in our seminar today, uh, the discussion around governance was very strong. How do you uh, claim to be strong in governance, yet ensure, are you ensuring that your, 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 your financial your, your, your sources of income are coming from the right sources and that kind of thing, and that's important. Now, one thing we're very happy about is that this is going to enhance high level of ethics, integrity in institutions. And the minute we're able to have a universal compliance to high ethical standards, and I think we're going to get rid of the challenges we face in corruption, and, and that's going to be helpful for, for the industries. Well, indeed, congratulations to all that were fitted at the FIRE Awards. Well, a look at into the livestock market in our morning hustle, and Kenyans will have to brace for higher cost of the delicacies most enjoyed during the festive season, like Nyama Choma. Traders say the high prices have been occasioned by drought in most parts of the country. Our video on Moige William is in the Mbere South and now joins us for more on that. Thank you back in studio and in today's episode on our market review we have made way into Keretire market. Well, it is well known, this area is well known for Mogoka but today our focus is different. As you can see behind me, quite a number of livestock, talking of goats, sheep and uh, that is our focus today. You know, it is the festive season and people are making their way here into the market you know, to prepare themselves to have a bite of Nyamachoma. It is the festive season, so to have a good time. And straight into it, let's get to know what are the prices of uh, uh, different uh, prices we have today for, let's, uh, let's say, goat, let's say, sheep. What is the price today? And I'm joined by one of the traders here. Uh, maybe Mwenzangu tu, Karibia tu Zungumze. Karibia tu Jongea tu. Labda tuanze tu na jina lako, ni wakati, ni wakati wa skuku, bei ya mbuzi kovipi hapa katika eneo la kiretire. Mi kwa majina naitwa Patrick Jiro. Mimi ni mfanyabiashara wa mifugo. Mimi na ndio na mbuzi. Azaza bei ya mbuzi imekuwa juu sana. Na hii mwaka yote tumeenda bei ikiwa juu sana. Na imekuwa affected juu ya ile kiangazi tulikuwa nayo. Juu the main source ya mbuzi inakuanga northeastern. Na bande ya northeastern mbuzi zimekoda. Kwa hivyo ile mbuzi inapatikana mnono siku hizi lazima iwe na bei kali. Na watu ambao wa, wa wanakuja kununua mbuzi ya Christmas wanapata shida sana juu. Sile budget wanakuanga wame budget wanakuta mbuzi siko juu sana. Juu wanataka mbuzi mnono. Na mbuzi asijaanza kutokea. Inalejiki hata kuanzia 2016 hii mazenge kupa kupa. Kwenda kusenge ya kilo zarasini leo unaweza kuinunua na 2016. Lakini mbeleni ilikuwa inakuja kitu 12. Kwa hivyo Mm, mi naonelea hata sisi wabanyi biyashara sisi wanyawe tumekupata piko kupwa juu hata mifuga atu, atupati mifuga ya kutosha juu sasa watu wale mei surprise kutoka na odhista wanaanzanga kusaburai kama kitu imenona na sahi ya janona hata sisi tukona piko kupwa sana wengine hata wamevirisika juu ya kukosa nini ya kukosa buzi lata ni ulize the heat itabadilika au vipi itakuja kupandilika buzi buzi kichaa naona kutoka bali inatokanga but I know this time, Mbuzi Takuja will buy Chambay. Labda, let's, let's have a walk inside the market. I don't know. Ah, Mwenzangu. Labda, who Mbuzi is going to buy Chambay? Every time I'm going to buy Chambay. Every time I'm going to buy Chambay. Every time I'm going to buy Chambay. I'm going to buy Chambay. I'm going to buy Chambay. Siku ya leo soko iko aje ni msimu wa Christmas soko iko aje bei ni gali. Iko juu. Na wali ilikuwa vipi? Ilikuwa chini hapo beleni. Lakini siku hizi 
bei kwa juu. Mm. Okay, asante kwa muda wako. Well, there you have it and traders here at this particular livestock market they are saying prices this particular uh, holiday will be high, but Abi and the rest of the team, don't worry. I'm going to get you ambuzi and uh, for now, me and Solo are going to get our hands dirty and find you ambuzi at least for the holidays and you guys get to enjoy. That is all from me, Moige William, and I'll take you back to studio. All right, thank you, Moige. I'll definitely be making a visit to come collect our ambuzi. I hope it's a properly well-fed senge. Well, still keeping in the festive mood, over 500 women SMEs are said to benefit 